Hi there, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use these to make this look like this. So the first step is to collect and clean your cans, and then you're going to cut the top and bottom off, and we're going to just flatten this wall of the can so that you have some sheets that look like this. And if you need some instruction on how to do that, I will link to that in the description box of this tutorial. It's a pretty simple and quick process. Next, you're going to want to add some texture or pattern to your metal pieces. And you can do this by embossing with an embossing tool. I have also done a tutorial on that if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the embossing process. This is just kind of a doodle embossing that I just kind of draw randomly. You can also actually trace patterns on with your em embossing tool. So check out that resource as well. And then I also did a quick tutorial on some fast ways just to add some patterns and texture to aluminum cans. And I will link to that resource as well. So check all of those out in the description box. Decide what kind of texture you want to add to your aluminum sheets. So I'm going to go add some texture to these two sheets and we'll be back for the next step. So these are the notebooks that I'm going to be using. I got them at Dollar Tree and they come in a little three pack. So I'm going to take one of the notebooks and I want to make a little template. So I just have a piece of cardstock here and I'm just going to trace around the shape here. And then instead of cutting right on the line that I've drawn, I'm going to cut just about an eighth of an inch inside of that line because I want my aluminum piece to be just a little bit smaller than the cover. You can see here I've got my pattern added to my two pieces of flattened aluminum can. And it's started to curl up a little bit here, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and use my template and cut out these two pieces. I'll probably use a little bit of painter's tape to hold the template in place and I'm just a regular pair of scissors to cut out the pieces. The next thing I want to do is take each piece and I've got a little mat here. You could use a piece of craft foam or felt and a ruler and I want to draw with my small end of my embossing tool a line about an, another eighth of an inch in from the edge of my metal. If you're a perfectionist, you can measure it a little more carefully than I am. I tend to like to eyeball things. This will also help to flatten out the piece a little bit. I'm going to be using this clear mounting tape to attach the metal to my notebook cover. And you don't need to cover the entire surface, so I'm only applying tape to the middle of the aluminum piece. And then I'm pressing the front and the back covers onto the notebook. To secure the edges, I'm using some metal tape. I need two pieces long enough to wrap around the edge of the notebook and one piece the length of the spine. And you can see this tape is much wider than I need, so I'm marking the paper backing to my desired width of 5 eighths of an inch to wrap the edges. Once the tape was cut, I had a little trial and error applying the tape around the curves. Originally, I thought I could use one long piece, but it was almost impossible to turn the corners. So I ended up covering the corners first with a short piece that I had cut slits in on both sides. And then I added the edge pieces, lining them up with my embossed line and wrapping the ex excess tape around the inside of the cover. The metal tape is very moldable and once the tape was burnished with my embossing tool, the edges of the tape are blended together and it looks much more like one solid piece of tape. To cut the width of the tape for the spine, I measured the distance from embossed line to embossed line around the binding and determined that I needed a piece that was about three quarters of an inch wide. And then I applied the tape to the front of the notebook first just in case my measurement was a little bit off. To make the inside cover, I cut two pieces of cardstock from my template and then I gently crinkled a small piece of aluminum foil that was large enough to cover both of the cardstock pieces. Next, I'm using this Duro all-purpose spray adhesive to assemble the pieces. So I have sprayed a thin coat on all three pieces and then I'm just pressing them together and cutting around the edges, leaving about a quarter of an inch of foil around all the edges to wrap around the cardstock. 
Once I had the foil wrapped around the edges, I went back and made sure that I had pressed the foil tightly to the cardstock. The last step was to attach the inside covers to the notebook, and for this step I'm using an Elmer's glue stick. It's a good choice because it dries quickly, it doesn't crinkle the paper, and it allows you to reposition the pieces a little bit. Here's a look at the finished notebook, but you don't have to settle for only using silver. You can test out different colors by applying spray paint to the aluminum before you attach it to the notebook. And what I love about this is that you can also use the spray paint on the metal tape and the aluminum foil to make everything match. Another thing you can try is piecing different sizes, shapes, colors, and textures together to make larger covers. And you can play around with alcohol inks to add color as well. Be sure to check the description box for all the extra resources and video tutorials to help you get started with this project. If you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button. You can also check out more fun projects you can make from aluminum cans by clicking or tapping your screen now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.